schedule. I forget when I film videos it takes longer to do like regular tasks because I have to set up the camera and then I have to like move it if I want something to look a certain way and I just did not leave enough time. Yesterday I curled my hair so I'm just gonna like fix a few of the pieces but honestly do we even have time for that? No I'm kind of just making time for it but anyways hi hello and good morning it is February 10th. It is 7.55 a.m. I'm using this like random curler that I own. And I don't really like it. So if anyone has suggestions for like other curlers, I would love them. My hair looked really cute yesterday. It's just like, it's like second day and it's almost entirely fallen out. I feel like that's all we have time for at the moment. It really is. So let's hairspray this. Hairspray fixes everything. Today I'm going to be taking you through an injured athlete day in my life. If you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Sophie, I'm 17, I live in Seattle, Washington, and I'm a big volleyball player. I'm committed to play volleyball at the University of Illinois starting this year, but I'm still in high school for the moment. I am in my senior spring and I just recently injured my back. I had a really bad back muscle spasm while I was lifting weights and we've been trying to take care of it. It's not the most severe injury I've ever had, but it's definitely not fun. And right as I was getting requests for more volleyball content, this happened, which is really unfortunate. So what I can do for you is take you through a day of resting and recovering and what my day-to-day -day life is like when I'm out for a few weeks. So I have a chiropractor appointment in the middle of the day, and then I have practice and school. You're also gonna get some like school content and what I do as a senior in senior spring. So I'm gonna take you along and I need to eat breakfast now. Getting worse. How's it getting worse? Yeah, yeah, wait, you do it. So maybe like, oh, I don't know. It's like a little hat. Criminals. Well, <laughs> no, we don't need to get another one. Right, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, how about what? I remember hearing about the whole reading and everything. Tomorrow. Thanks, Laura. So we're discussing senior poll stuff, and I'm taking both of my pictures today. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, they are most likely to win an Olympic medal. Be Olympians. No, I think it's just be Olympians, but I just like it's just not even it's true. It's not accurate. <laughs> Keep no, in mind, keep so in mind. For you, fuck you. It's okay. yes, I <laughs> so for no, you. are you this, kidding me? Do you, you think I'm good enough to play in the Actually, Olympics? No, Look at me. Cool. So we all of you are like recruited to a college, and then I'm just like, I'm gonna try and walk on. <laughs> <laughs> like, keep in mind, it's there's fun. literally Funny. 63 people in our grade. <laughs> so like, how big of a deal are the senior polls? And what's anyways? your other one? What's your other one? Best dressed. Oh, plus. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> No, you should see the outfit I brought today. It's like cowgirl boots, a sparkly dress. Like I, I brought like a crazy outfit to wear with Willow. Oh, can I have Oh my god. Uh uh. No. Oh, actually, you're taking photos. <laughs> there are so many things you've already said that are not going in. Is it not due to like June? Yeah, because it's rolling in my Oh my god, it's coming out tomorrow. The <gasps> Chicago thing. Are you kidding me? They just released it. Oh my god! This is this is your daily dose of college talk. Yeah. Material girl! Abby didn't even tell us to bring our medals. She just I because I woke up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Where are they going? What? That's kind of funny. That's how I'm sorry. You have she, to you're not bringing that to the channel. I'm bringing that to the channel. You can turn the lines. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's like an email that Parker sent out. I'm gonna look so tall in this clip. Why are all these people so short? Filming a second ago, this is a retry. For context, Liv is how tall did you say you were? Five foot zero. College commitment? Uh, Swarthmore College. For what? Soccer. <laughs> Where's Abby? Come tell us what you're committed for. <laughs> yeah. Committed. <laughs> committed is a strong word. <laughs> tell us, tell us. The coach is letting me on the team. For what? Can you cross like, country and track? Can you please stop selling yourself short? I'm it, sorry. Like, I'm sorry. I'm going to be running cross country and track at Colorado College. Go Team USA! USA. <laughs> Go Team USA! Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? I'm sorry, we're giving it to you. What are you committed for? Oh, I already said earlier in the vlog. Liv is. Not is growing somewhere, maybe. She's not committed at the moment, but who knows? <laughs> is this the, the side you use? For, yeah, for my workout. Are you kidding me? No. Today is day in the life of an injured athlete. The days look very different from what they would look like if I was playing. So it's gonna be like a rest and recovery day. R&R. Um, R&R. TLC. Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you like get me started. But thank you. So I want you to cut every single time I've been in this freaking vlog out. <laughs> no. What's that? What's that? Oh my god, is it Chicago? No. Potter Springs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, are you going to the Olympic Training Center to become a future Olympian? Uh huh. That's why I chose Potter Springs College because. Yeah. Oh. And there better be. Hi, Sophie's YouTube. Yeah. Devin and Kate. So I have some exercises that I'm supposed to do for PT stuff with my back. I have a lacrosse ball. Usually I'd use like a wooden dowel, but I have a pipe that I'm gonna use. These girlies here are gonna do weightlifting like we usually do. These are my oh. freshman girlies. <laughs> so this class is an advanced weight training class, but because I'm injured, I, I really can't do any of the stuff we're supposed to. So I do my best. Lots of core work, lots of stretching. Have fun, you guys. <laughs> Bye. So that's I'm gonna show you what I'm what I'm doing for recovery and rest, which I've been given by my PT and my chiropractor. I'm not gonna do too much core work today because I have a workout later at practice, but usually I would do like a longer core series. I didn't include all the stretches that I did earlier, but um, I don't know what else to show really. I'm currently in like the workout classroom and like the gym is behind this, but everyone's in the gym and I don't need to take up gym space when I'm just stretching on mats. So I usually do the work in here. So I'm kind of done, like I don't know what to do at the moment. I have another exercise that I forgot about. I use like a soft foam roller, but because my school only has like the harder ones, I just wrapped it in a yoga mat and it should be okay. Okay, now I'm actually done. Headband, Lulu. Bikini top, Nordstrom. American Eagle, American Eagle. I don't throw Converse. Ever. Yes, and yes. We're the best dressed like ladies. Doing very much New York fashion student. Perfect. <laughs> I got shoes. Oh, you want to do it? Wait, then I have to flip that down. Okay, start off the shoes. Okay, shoes are from this random boot store in Auburn. But Washington. they're actually amazing. Jeans are Motel Rocks, are the ones I had on earlier. Yeah. Dress? It's blinding. I forget what it's called, who it's from. It's like some place in Palm Springs. Look at the tag. We can't leave people hanging. Oh, treat a Turk. Oh, it's from Trina Turk. <laughs> Scarf is Wilfred. It's Aritzia. Glasses? Mm, of course. They're loft. 
hat is Oh, it's thrifted. Oh, oh where's my bag? She's where's iconic. The bag? <laughs> bag was a gift. Stop. God, look at her. Okay, Stop bye. In. Grace has bravely volunteered to take our picture. Okay. How's it look? Uh, Sophie Stevenson. Hi, Sophie. Hi. Thank you. Lucas Taggart. A little update because my camera batteries died. And I'm using my phone now, as you can see. I went to the chiropractor. It went really well. It was really quick. Usually I spend like 30 minutes there and it was only like 20, maybe like 15 minutes. He like cracked my back a few different times and then just messed around with the way the muscles are along my spine. It feels great, feels really good. I'm not playing tonight again though because it still needs rest. I don't feel confident enough in playing on it yet. Oh, and I changed out of my school outfit because for the chiropractor, I usually wear like athletic clothes, not like jeans or like a top that is hard to go through with the back. And I changed my shoes to match my sweatshirt, so. It's currently 3.01 p.m. and my leggings are very lumpy. I have to pick up the girls from school for my carpool at 3.10, so I'm gonna be leaving soon. I, oh, I need to close the garage door. I always forget and they get super mad at me. I am currently driving my dad's car because I hit a curb really hard in typical teenage girl fashion. And long story short, I caused $2,500 worth of damage. Tire rod needs to be replaced. I had to get a new wheel and it needed to be realigned. So I hit it really hard. I was doing a U-turn. I promise I wasn't like parking badly. I was doing a U-turn and I underestimated where the curb was and I slammed into it when I was trying to turn around. Hi! Okay, well, usually when well, you vlog. Well, I had no idea it wasn't. I'm sorry. Um, hey, vlog. Um, fun fact me, Sophie, and Claire almost got in a car crash. Yes. Comedic timing. We almost got in a car accident because someone almost hit me on the highway. Yeah, and I oh, promise oh, it wasn't oh, my fault. Um, I saved us with my reflexes. Yeah, I know. I told my dad that. You're going to think I'm such a bad driver from this clip. I'm really, like, I'm actually a good driver. Yeah, Sophie's a bomb ass driver. Thank you. She gets us to Wawa every day in the same formation. Beautiful driving. <laughs> the only formation. time we ever almost kind of crashed was when some bozo decided to almost kill us. That yeah. was so That was yesterday. But Sophie's was yesterday. such a good driver. Oh my gosh, hype me up more. I didn't even notice when I almost got hit. Until Sophie was like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, flower, glow. Oh, oh my gosh. It's much easier. This is the senior locker room. There's Audrey and Marissa. <laughs> Only the seniors are allowed in here. And most of us aren't even here. I Should we go out there? <laughs> what an original, hilarious joke, Jamie. Original, hilarious. Wait. Yeah. Are you not a fan? Yeah. Are you not subscribed? Wait, what? Do you not watch her? I'm sorry, I'm not like a Sophie stalker. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. Wait, what do you, yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> we got Chipotle because my parents are not home for dinner. And and we wanted fast food. Yeah, they're not. Fella gets left out of family actually, conversations. It's, it's, on the, it's on the group chat. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Check the group chat. Check the family group chat. I literally was just checking it. Oh, no, check it. again. Scroll no, up. Friday. No, before that, it's about the fact that the only food at home is halibut. <laughs> no, you're welcome. It's 7.41, and I think I'm going to go take an Epsom salt bath. I like to do these after my chiropractic appointments. I think Epsom salt baths are so good and I've been doing them probably twice to three times a week because of my back. Has it been helping? I don't think it could hurt. I would also like to add that I don't eat out very much. So I usually eat out once a week and we had to get food tonight because my parents are gone and the food options right now are very sparse and cooking something honestly sounded like a lot of work just to do tonight. So. We ate out, but I promise I eat really well because that's important. That's important for healing and it's important for athletes in general, so. These are the Epsom salts I use. It smells so good. 
highly recommend I get mine off Amazon. I would highly recommend this. It's my favorite. It's currently 10.43 p.m. I'm icing my back right now. You can't, you can't see, but I have an ice pack underneath my back. And I'm gonna use my heating pad later. I've been doing contrast therapy, so you do like icing it and then you do heat, ice, heat. Being injured just really sucks. And I just wanted to take a second to talk about being injured as an athlete. Today was like a pretty positive day for me, but I've had some really, really bad ones. And even though this is like one of the more minor injuries I've had in my volleyball career so far, no matter how big the setback is or the time you're taking off to rest it, it feels like the worst thing to happen. Or that's how it feels like for me to have to sit and watch practice or like I'll shag balls. I'm there with the team every single day for the last three weeks, but not being able to play just it's so hard and mentally it's really difficult. If you're going through some form of injury, even if it's a sprained ankle or a torn ACL, I feel for you. It's been my normal for the last two weeks, but it's usually not like this. And I wanna share with you what it's normally like because I have a blast living those days. But in order to have a blast living those days, you need some of these too to realize what you have and why it's so good. I'm taking nothing for granted this year at all. So oh, I think the trick, trick is the wrong word, but the secret to healing fast is putting as much dedication as you put into your sport regularly into your recovery and your treatment because that's equally if not more important to get back to doing what you love doing and that's what comes with doing what you love doing injuries just happen and and most of the time you can't blame anyone for it in my case all of my injuries i've ever had have been overuse so i hope today wasn't too jumbled and weird and maybe i could put a decent video together here but in the future i definitely want to record my normal days i really hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a lot harder to film than i thought it would be that's all i have for tonight so I'll see you in my next video, but until then, bye. Don't hit the trash can. I'm not gonna hit the trash can. Amelia, no.